Welcome to this episode of Bridal Extravaganza TV. Twice a year, thousands of bright-eyed brides head on down to the George R. Brown looking to plan their perfect wedding. And a very few of them will be featured on Bridal Extravaganza TV. We've got a jam-packed day for you. We're going to be with Kelly as she finds her dream desk. Amanda will get blown away by the flowers at HEB Blooms. Don't forget Sarah, our new billboard bride, as she smiles from all the billboards in Houston. And we'll close it off with a honeymoon trip to Pelican Hill. Enjoy this episode of Bridal Extravaganza TV. sets the stage for the entire event. We're here in charming Old Town Spring at Boutique The Princess Bridal. Let's follow Kelly as she searches for her perfect gown. We've been in business for 10 years. This is our 10th year, so we're gonna try to throw a party this year. And we specialize in bridal. So when a bride comes in for the first time, we have her fill out a little bit of paperwork to kind of tell us about her and what she's looking for, then we'll pull some dresses for her. Hopefully within that time, we'll be able to find the dress. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is Casablanca and it's CB Couture, which is their um, couture line. I love the back of this dress. And this is blush. So it also comes in ivory or white, but the blush is so pretty on you. I really like this color. This is a beautiful color. You know, I always thought I was going to do white, but this is a beautiful color. And the lace is exquisite. Did you look at that back? Oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? Just in a pose. <laughs> oh, the detail. It's and gorgeous. the nice thing with Casablanca is you can customize. So say you said, okay, well, I really want a little more drama. You can always make the train 12 inches longer, 18 inches longer, whatever you want. Oh, wow. I love it. Okay, so this dress is by Kitty Chin. Sleeves are really in this season. Really beautiful back. This dress takes between four and six months to come in, so that your planning ahead is really good. Well, let's try another one. I love how flowy this is. This dress kind of has that old Hollywood feel that you said you like. Yes. And then that belt is optional. Here, let me show okay. you without. What do you think? Do you like it better with the belt or without? I think I like it without because you can see more of the, the, the sparkles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, it's beautiful. And I think the theme for today is pretty back, so this dress also has a gorgeous low back. Yes. And I love the illusion sleeves. Such a classic elegance about it. Okay, congratulations Kelly. Here's your dress. <gasps> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've let us know how alterations go. I will, I will for sure. Don't forget to fan us on Facebook. Oh, I already did. Good, <laughs> thanks so much, have a good one. Bye. For more tips on finding the perfect gown for you, log on to bridalextravaganzashow.com. Who Made the Cake is known for custom, unique cakes. Everything is made fresh to order. My passion for art has grown into my passion for the love of creating cakes. I love to sit down with every bride, talk about the details in their wedding, and then I sketch out a custom cake for them that is unique, so anything you can dream of, we can create it. We are known for the over-the-top, large creations, but people don't realize we do beautiful, reasonable size cakes to fit any budget. Guests will look at the cake and then they'll taste it and say, who made the cake? I'm in a traveling vaudeville comedy troupe, as I said, and we the troupe goes to the Texas Renaissance Festival every year. But we met on a day when it was like a rainy day or whatever, 
And I was watching their show, I was in their audience. I walk up and I'm like, hi, nice to meet you, and try to run away as best as I can. And then I went back to the festival the following week and I reintroduced myself and I was like, you may not remember me from last week, it was raining. And he was like, oh, I, re I remember you. <laughs> I found out she was a singer, and I, I'm a songwriter. And I, I was like, I've actually been looking for a girl to sing with. Uh, and so we made plans to meet up later the week, that week and try singing together and see if anything took. And uh, I went over to her house. We played about three songs. And then told each other our life stories. Yeah, three songs. And then we wound up getting dinner, and I wound up hanging out with her friends. And then I, and we, we've just basically been inseparable since that Ever moment. Since, since that day that I went over to play songs. Well, we, were, we were long distance for about a year and a half. And when he came back for the festival that following year, he ended up becoming the host. And as a result, I would come in, anytime I'd come in town, I'd come in and be a part of the cast meetings and stuff like that. Uh, they offered me the permanent space like that night. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll move here instead. <laughs> it's and certainly cheaper than LA. <laughs> and now he's in Houston and he's the host and I'm the showgirl. The, it was the final weekend of the festival and I started to kind of get plans in motion. I offered them her troupe. I was like, hey, why don't you guys come down to our show? Because our show is one of the biggest ones at the festival and we, do, we perform to sometimes up to a thousand people and do a promo on the stage and then maybe for the, la your fi the final day, at least you'll fill up all your shows like from these people. So I'm just like, fine, I'll go down there. So I, I go in my Renaissance Fair garb, which is a barbarian. I'm dressed as a barbarian, like crazy hair. I wear furry ears. Like, I realize that he's not talking about our troop anymore. And then I see him start to get down on one knee, and I was like, oh, he is talking to me. The audience exploded, exploded just like. And they went like. They wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let me do any of my speech because they kept yelling like, hip hip huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Hip, hip, huzzah. And it, yeah. it was wonderful. I, I had to go back and watch the video to know exactly what he said because I, I just kept saying yes. Like I knew <laughs> what he, I, he was on the ground, he had a ring, and I was like, yes, yep. So we are having a circus themed wedding and uh, we're asking our performer friends to come and instead of bringing a gift, bring their talent. So we're gonna have people doing uh, aerial artist work and singing and dancing. We've actually extended that to like all, all artists basically. If you're an artist coming to our wedding, we're like in lieu of a gift, present us with your talent in some way. So like, we want, we're hoping painters will paint us something and like, uh, I've got some animator friends in Hollywood and I'll, maybe they'll make us a little animation or something, you know, things like that. And like, uh, we, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So the wet, the ceremony itself will probably be about 10, 15 minutes. And then the after party will be just a, a huge circus show. And we've got a, a, an illusionist friend in Vegas who's coming to do an illusion. Uh, that... A friend of mine, uh, a friend of ours is, uh, or was a Moulin Rouge dancer. So she's gonna come and dance, potentially sing. Um, and then we've got fire eaters, and then again, and magicians the, and ventriloquists yeah. and all kinds of things. It's gonna it's, be fun. It's gonna be magical. provide the perfect color accent for your event. Today we follow Amanda to HEB Blooms where she'll meet with a designer and find out what they can do for her. Hi Amanda, how are you Hi, doing? I'm so glad to see you again. Good it was see wonderful you. seeing you at the Brado Extravaganza. You too. So now the date's coming up. I know, it's getting close. Let's talk about this. So the date is set for? September 19th. September 19th. And we have our color palette picked out? We do, we finally finalized it. We're thinking green, white, and mahogany, kind of like a maroonish red. Okay, yeah. you kind of falling more into the Merlot, kind exactly. of more deep jewel tones. Yep, exactly. With a little subtle white, sounds great. Okay, and your wedding venue? It's the Union on 8th in Georgetown. It's a lovely venue. Thanks, okay. yeah, we're excited about it. And do you kind of know what you're looking for for your bouquet? Um, I kind of like the cascading look. 
Okay. So um, maybe greens, whites, and then you know the, the red mahogany kind of. Okay. We can add some texture in there, and it's not going to be so structured. Yeah, perfect. So you'll have some movement, some flow, and your color palette will still complement yeah. all the, the that movement. Good. Okay. How many bridesmaids? We have eight. Eight? Yeah, it's going to be big. What is their dress color? Okay, so it is that mahogany color. Okay. And it's um, really pretty floor length and then just spaghetti strap. So. Okay, something simple, clean, and elegant. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So we know kind of what we're looking for them um, to carry? Hopefully like a little bit tighter bouquet, but still kind of incorporating the wildflower natural. Okay, bouquet. so some texture going through it, yeah. something like that. And this right here is actually going to be something that's going to be more of a pave. Okay. Now it's not as wildflower and it's not the color palette, but it's going to give you that. Yeah, the look different and textures. Feel of yeah. texture and things in that yeah, nature. Is I that like something? That. Yeah. Okay. So what are we looking for for the groom? They'll have gray suits or gray tuxes. Okay. And then on the groomsman? Um, maybe something similar. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Something similar. Okay. They will only be wearing um, the vest, right? Not the jacket. So okay. We actually go on their vest. On the yeah. vest. So we want something that's going to be a little bit smaller, smaller right? because yeah. it's not going to have so much weight on. Right. It. Okay. And ring bearer. Just one. Just one. He's four. Four. He's a handful. So something small. Something small. <laughs> yeah. Something that's not really. He's going to notice to pull on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Now we get to talk about altar pieces. Okay. Are we looking for anything for the the service? Yeah. So okay. the church is really rustic looking, just stone and wood. Okay. So uh, maybe just whites and greens just to keep it okay. natural. We want to keep it a little bit more into that wildflower feel, but maybe use maybe some hydrangeas. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Hydrangeas, some curly willow that will give it some height, some green, yeah. and then we can kind of do some nice tusses of bear grass, that things in that perfect. nature that will cascade out and give just a position of texture going through that See, this is why I get you. You know I what like you're talking okay. about. Okay. Now we get to talk about the fun part. Yay. Reception. Yes, okay. okay. This is my favorite topic. <laughs> I love it, I love it. How many uh, tables? Um, how many tables? I guess it's about 12 tables, but they're farm tables. Okay. So they'll be long rows. More banquet style. Yeah, okay. but they're not um, benches, they're individual chairs like these. Okay, so, so we want something that's going to expand the center of that table all the way down, but not take away from being able to have conversation right, from the exactly. guests. Okay. So we were thinking, um, we're not going to use a table runner or tablecloth because the tables have a ton of character on their own. Okay. So maybe try and have like, you know, the greenery stretch throughout the center of the table all the way down. And then what we can do is we can actually go with different sizes of containers, maybe cylinders, and do small tusses of flowers going down the center Perfect. of the table and do some candlelight, some okay. ambient lighting yeah. in between that. I think that completes. Now we get to kind of start looking at flowers. Excellent. And go from yeah. there. Does that sound great? Good. Awesome. Yeah. Winnie Couture is a flagship salon based out of Beverly Hills and carries gowns by celebrity designer Winnie Cloman. Here at Winnie Couture, we feature two collections that range in price from $1,500 to $7,000. Both labels can be featured in pure silk and luxurious satins. We have veils and shoes that are ordered to match all gowns, as well as jewelry, headpieces, and Swarovski belts. Winnie Couture stylists cater to their brides and assist them from their first visit to their pickup. Finding your wedding gown at Winnie Couture is an experience brides will never forget. So now we can kind of start looking at flowers oh, and kind yeah. of seeing what colors and what's going to pair and what's really going to work for that okay. season. Perfect. So going into that deep merlot, kind of that crimson red. Oh yeah, I love Will be that. nice. And the carnation is always nice. Yeah, Once I you like cluster it. them together, it's going to give you a totally different like a new texture. Yeah, I exactly. like that. Exactly. And then going with some textures and some pieces that might work into the, the reception mm -hmm. space, the Snapdragons, doing that deep Merlot, nice, but it's gonna have that green tip. Now what we can actually start doing is start looking at the Cymbidium Orchids. Okay. Kind of to give you that Merlot oh, piece, and we can start them. tucking them down into the bouquets and kind of into the cascade itself. Yeah, that's perfect. The other piece we talked about was the the Garden Rose. Oh, those are so Which cool. has a nice texture to it, and they're gonna open up nice, yeah. and then it also has that fragrance as well. Oh yeah. And it's, adding a seated eucalyptus for a little bit of draping. And then going with the white and greens, we also have the stock, which is going to be nice. It's gonna give you that vertical bloom, but it's oh, also yeah. gonna give you a fragrance as well. I'm starting so, to get it in yeah, my head, I love see, it, yeah. Yes. And then 
the hydrangeas are what we're looking Favorite. at to, yep. to kind of do a little tuss around the, the ceremony. Okay. Flowers to, with the arches yep. of the curly willow. And then also doing some natural greens, Love which it. is the Queen Anne's it's Lace. It's kind of like the baby's breath concept, but a little bit more unique. Yes, I like it. it's going to give you some nice texture, and it's not going to be that, that standout white. Okay. It has that green base that's going to pull it back, that's going to complement that green and white that's going with the I really like that, yeah. It was so great meeting with y'all again. I look forward to working out all final details. If you have any questions along the way, you can always give me a call, email me. Other than that, we're good hey, to go. Thank you so You're much. So I really appreciate you have a all your help. You too. You. you have so a wonderful day and congratulations. Thanks, We actually met in college. It was the first day, well, it was the day before our first day of college. And we went to, we went to a private university. So we were going to church that night. And um, we were sitting there and the priest said, stand up and greet everybody around you. So my friends and I stood up, turned around, and I saw Matt and his friend, and they were wearing different Texas University sweatshirts. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're from Texas, cool. You know, we met each other, that was that. Then the next day, first day of class, I walk in, and I see him, I don't know anybody else, so I sit next to him, and boom, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> well, we, we took our five-year anniversary to um, Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, and we were just kind of celebrating our anniversary, and she had no idea that so I had So he was it. like, you plan Friday and I'll plan Saturday. And so that way, we, I didn't even ask what he was doing. He didn't ask what I was doing. I just thought we were going for our five year. So Friday morning, we woke up and I had surprised her with breakfast because she loves Eggs Benedict. So I found the best place to serve Eggs Benedict. And after that, we got a couple's massage. Which was a huge deal because I had been begging him for years and he would never do it. So he surprised me with that. And we went back to the hotel to get ready. I was telling her that we were going to dinner, a nice dinner. And instead, I took her to a wild seed farm, a wildflower farm. And I had a photographer walking around hidden, just kind of taking pictures of us. And we found a, a cute bridge that had a waterfall in the background. And I took a knee. Yeah, I was super surprised. And he was like, oh, and by the way, look over there. And the photographer was like waving, taking <laughs> pictures. So we had the whole thing documented, which is really cool. Today we came to finalize our floral arrangements and it's really exciting to kind of see it like all pieced together. Yeah, it helped me put a picture to all the descriptions and different textures she talks about. And Clifton and Blooms is great. I mean, they were showing us different flowers, different things that we hadn't even thought of that I think we're going to implement. So that was really Absolutely. exciting. For more information about flowers, log on to our website, www.bridalextravaganzashow.com. Let's catch up with Sarah, our new billboard bride, as she gets ready for her big photo shoot. Well, Butler's Courtyard is in the historic district of League City. It was built in 1909 as a bank. And so the vision that we had was to do weddings in this wonderful brick, uh, very stark, venue. And we're so excited today that the bridal extravaganza is here filming. We're doing the Billboard Bride shoot and so we've got a wonderful beautiful bride and Ventura's bringing the dresses so it's just exciting to see the other end of that photo shoot. My name is Gabriela Camacho. I'm here part of Edward Sanchez Cosmetics. Edward Sanchez Cosmetics is a makeup and hair specialty services. We specialize on the bride and her day. It's a memory that's supposed to last forever, so she has to look great in photos and in person. Brides should look for a look that suits them and their personality. It should be something that is themselves but enhanced. Today for the Billboard Bride, the model had 
very beautiful red hair, very beautiful blue eyes, and we just worked on enhancing those features. For her hair, we did a little bit of a modified chignon. I added a lot of curls, a lot of definition. For her makeup, her eyes, I just brought out the blue and used a bit of plum, some gold, kept it warm and smoky. Her lips are a rosy mauve color and it just enhances her red hair. I'm Tasca Ventura, the proud owner of Ventura's Bridal Fashions in Houston, Texas. We started this salon in 1984 and I'm happy to be here today as the proud sponsor of Billboard Bride. I will be featuring a lot of gowns. Our focus is going to be on the color and the trends. The colors offered to brides today are limitless. And for that reason, we wanted to give you lots of styling, lots of details, beadwork, and edgy skirts. Beaded gowns are very popular with all of the brides. We have a section in our store called Beaded Beauties for those of you who love the bling. What we offer when you come into our salon is unmatched warmth. That is a feeling that we want every customer to know. We're not chandeliers or candelabra. We are very much into old-fashioned service. So for the best bridal shopping experience, come to Ventura's Bridal for that old-fashioned service. My name is Ashley DeFries. I'm the owner of My Urban Invite, and really what we love is printing and design. Today we're at Butler's Courtyard for the Billboard Bridal Shoot. We are photographing our gorgeous bride this year and we have provided the stationery that is necessary to make a beautiful tablescape. A tablescape is what you would find at your reception. A table with pretty linen setup, table numbers, menus, place cards. We were going with an industrial style, so a lot of metals, pewter, graphite colors, uh, very kind of contemporary. We stuck with uh, contemporary fonts, colors, and shapes, geometrical shapes. We did the hexagon on the invitation, the menus. It's all cohesive, papers are matching, fonts are matching, and that's one thing that not a lot of people think of to keep it all cohesive, but it really pulls together and, and makes a nice impression on your guests. So Heather Bench Events was started about two and a half years ago. We specialize in wedding planning, event planning. So today we are doing the Bridal Extravaganza Billboard Bride Shoot. I think today has gone absolutely wonderful. The bride is laughing and that's what we love to see. For us, we like to um, sort of guide brides. You're not worrying about um, this pesky details that could get in the way. So we sort of help coordinate everything um, that you could think of behind the scenes. Over the Top Linen, uh, we've been in business for 10 years. We're based out of the Heights neighborhood in Houston, Texas. Butler's Courtyard is a very charming place. It's a little rough around the edges, so we brought out some beautiful pieces to dress up this industrial space. We have a really gorgeous kind of rose pink paisley print overlay uh, resting on top a crushed greenish taffeta linen on the base. Um, gives it a little raw edginess to it. And then for the dining table, we did a, more of a classic, beautiful vanilla color to tie in that soft bridal look. And then has this beautiful metallic embroidery in a geometric print. We have the finest quality linen products and that ranges anywhere from table linens to overlays chair treatments, accessories, and we're just that, you know, final destination for that luxury bride who wants something beautiful and unique. I'm Fawn with F. Dillett Designs and we are a wedding and event florist. For today we brought the bouquet and the centerpiece for the photo shoot for the Billboard Bride and we would used some really unique elements from artichokes and raspberries. It's a different take on an industrial centerpiece. The trend this year seems to be more bold colors, it seems to be more navy and purples and just really bold bright colors. Do some research, find out what you like, more importantly what you don't like um, so that we can take that and build what we can create for you and what you dream your wedding flowers will be. Hi, my name is Anna and this is Ivan and this is Anna and Ivan Photography. Today's shoot, it was fun. We had a lot of help from all our vendors and uh, Sarah, she was a doll to work with. We just took advantage of all the dresses that Mentura's bridal brought along and photographed them as much as we could. We love taking pictures of our brides, taking pictures of weddings and making it comfortable for our clients. We love natural lighting. So any possible chance that we have to take our couples out, we love to do their engagement sessions outside, any romantic pictures during the wedding day, enjoy the outdoor atmosphere. 
So I grew up in Houston seeing these billboards around Houston about the bridal extravagance, and I always dreamed about going with my mom. We go to the show, I'm completely overwhelmed before we get there because I don't know what's going to happen. I was walking by this booth and someone kind of steps out and they're like, did you apply for this one? And I had my little tickets and I wanted to apply for everything I could because why not take advantage? And so I was like, what is this? And they were telling me about what it was. So I fill out the information. As I'm doing that, they snap a picture. I'm like, oh, okay. And um, talk to someone about Stephen and I and just kind of spoke from the heart. And then all of a sudden I get an email that I'm a finalist <laughs> without really having even understood what I was applying for. So it was by chance and such a blessing that I got to be here today. So I'm really thankful. It was a once in a lifetime experience being able to work with all these incredible vendors. Dramatic views of the ocean set the stage for an unforgettable destination wedding. Can't make it all the way to Italy? Not to worry. The resort at Pelican Hill's gorgeous seaside setting, Italian design, and romantic ceremony locations make it the most exclusive venue on the California coast. You'll know you are someplace special just by looking at the cars in the valet lot. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Bentleys join the Rolls Royces parked around the lobby. The resort sits atop 504 acres overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Crystal Cove State Park, one of California's protected coastal areas. The wedding lawn outdoor venue features a Pandalanian rotunda, spectacular views of the resort, golf course, and Pacific coastline. To heighten the exclusivity factor, Pelican Hill only allows one wedding on property at a time. Two challenging Fazio design golf courses are carved into the bluffs and spill out along the ocean. Make new friends and reconnect with old acquaintances at the Coliseum Pool, the largest circular pool in the world. Weddings at the resort at Pelican Hill will never be forgotten. For more information about Pelican Hill, visit our website at www.bridalextravaganzashow.com. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're a real Houston bride out there and you'd like to see your wedding featured on this show, head on down to the George R. Brown to the Bridal Extravaganza Show. Our scouting agents will be there. They're ready to meet you and maybe you could appear on the next episode. Thank you so much. This is Lorette Ferris. <laughs>